Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video, topic 8.15 on pathogens and infectious diseases. Okay, so pathogens in the environment, those are going to be uh, classified into three main groups. You have to have your viruses, your bacteria, and then your protists or your other diseases as well. So um, important to know that they lead to infections and can be spread to human populations. So it's going to be one of those density dependent uh, issues here. Uh, so make sure you remember that back from uh, our previous units. And then um, these specific pathogens can recur, can occur in environments regardless of sanitation. So it's not a thing that is always related to sanitation. These are related to just general human populations. So let's go through some. Now, some of these anthropogenic changes in diseases, those are going to lead to different issues. So a lot of the times you're going to see our friend, the mosquito here, as a vector. That's going to be a thing that helps spread the disease. Well, those are spreading because there are warmer climate zones around the, the earth, right? And of course, places that are poverty stricken, and low income, they're going to have certain conditions that are going to lead to more common forms of disease than others. So make sure you're aware of that and that you're looking for those. So we begin with plague, right? That's not an old disease anymore. That's still around, right? It's a bacterial disease that's carried by the organisms infected with bacteria Yersinia pestis. So this flea would have Yersinia pestis in its gut. It would try to take a bite of us, and um, it spread through that contaminated fluid and stuff like that. So one way the disease can still be spread. Then you end up with tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is also a bacteria, and this can be if someone is uh, coughing and can spread some of the particles that have uh, bacteria-infected blood and body fluids into the next person. So this can be spread. This used to be called consumption back in the day, uh, but it's a bacterial infection of the lungs. Then we get to malaria, which is not a virus. It's not a bacteria. This is one of our first uh, protists. It's called a plasmodium, right? So malaria uh, is common in sub-Saharan Africa, but it's been spreading because mosquitoes have been spreading because of that as well. And so when we look at another one, here's another one spread by mosquitoes, but this is a virus spread. So this is going to be the West Nile virus. So it can be transmitted from infected mosquitoes. And originally this was in Africa in the West area of the Nile, but has been spreading because of global climate change. Then you get severe acute respiratory syndrome, which is SARS, right? This is a viral form of pneumonia um, and it's transform, uh, transferred by inhaling or touching fluids. Um, this is actually um, a precursor to the current coronavirus or COVID uh, uh, virus. So this is a similar coronavirus as well. It's just not as infectious. So, um, and then also related, you have MERS, or Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS. And this one is a respiratory illness also transmitted from animals to humans. So we think that is another method of new diseases being spread uh, from contact with animals often. And so the Zika virus is another one that was also a problem for several years and continues to be. This is also spread from mosquitoes. Um, and it also can be spread through sexual contact. This leads to microcephaly. So the head size of each baby, of a baby can become smaller and smaller, and they can have developmental disorders because of this. And then, of course, we have cholera, which is a bacterial disease um, that's contracted from infected water, and uh, that can lead to uh, diarrhea and dehydration as well. So here's many different resources and links for you to be able to look up and look into those diseases. Hopefully these will be helpful. And hopefully this was helpful. Thank you very much.